Hackers and Homework Lesson 3.2, Estimate Products. Now, estimate the product, choose a method. We know that estimating, estimate means to round. Now, if the number in the ones place is less than five, it goes down. If it is greater than or equal to five, it rounds up. Now, seeing problem, oh, and so it says the product. That would mean to multiply. I'll put an X right there. 38 times 21. The eight in the ones place is greater than or equal to five. So you round it to up to a 40, like it shows right here. And the one in the, the one in 21 is less than five. So it rounds down to 20. Now 40 times 20 is 800. Number two, 63 times 19. Since 63 has the ones place of a three that is less than five, so it is the 60 times 19 will round to 20 because the nine is greater than or equal to five. So 60 times 20, you could do 60 times 210, so two. That'd be two times zero is zero. Two times six is 12 times 10, which you're equal to zero times zero is zero. Zero times two is zero. Zero times one is zero. The X, one times one is zero. One times two is two. And one times one is one. So you add those together and you get 1,200 as your answer. Now three, 27 with the seven in the ones place rounds to 30 times, let's put a dollar sign to remember, 42. So 42 would be rounded down to 40 because the two in the ones place is less than five. So 30 times $40, 40, we can say 310, three times zero is zero, three times four is 12, and then you can multiply by 10. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. And 0 times 1 is 0. With the x, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is 1. So we can add those together. And we get, don't forget the dollar sign, $1,200. Number four, 73 rounds down to 70, while 67 rounds up to 70. So you get 70 times 7 tenths, so we'll multiply that by 7. Zero times zero, 7 times 0 is 0, and 7 times 7 is 49. Multiply that by 10, you get the 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 9 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0. The x one times one is zero, one times nine is nine, and one times four is four. So you get the total, once that's added up together, you get 4,900. Number five, 37 times $44. 37 rounds up to 40. 40 while these $44 runs down to 40 because the four in the one place is not greater than five. So you get 40 times four, four times zero is zero, four times four is 16, times 10, zero times zero is zero, zero times six is zero, zero times one is zero. So next, one times zero is zero, one times six is six, and one times one is one. Add those together and you get $1,600 or 1,600. Number six, 45, since it's a five on the ones place, 
rounds up to 50 times 22 rounds down to 20 due to the two in the ones place. So you get 50 times 20. So we do 50 times 210. 50, two times zero is zero. Two times five is 10. You get 100 times 10. That is zero times zero. Zero, zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero, X. One times one is zero. One times one is zero. And one times one is one. So you get when that's all added up, 1,000. A dime has a diameter of about 18 millimeters. About how many millimeters long would a row of 34 dimes be? So the question is asking how many millimeters would a row of 34 dimes be? Well, we know that a dime, a singular dime, is 18 milliliters in diameter. So for this question, we'd have to multiply 34 times 18. But since it says about, about, means to round. So we round 34 to 30 times 18, since the number in the ones place is greater than five, we round to 20. So on the side, we can do 30 times two. Two times zero is zero. Three times two is six times 10. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times six is zero. So next right there. One times zero is zero. And one times six is six. So we add that together and equals to 600. So the row of 34 dimes would be 600, about 600 millimeters. Number eight, a half dollar has a diameter of about 31 millimeters. About how many millimeters long would a row of 56 half dollars be? So the question is asking about, which means to round, how many millimeters would a row of 56 half dollars be? Well, we know a singular half dollar has a diameter of 31 million. So we'd multiply 31 times 56, and we'd round the 31 to 30, multiply by 56. The ones place is a six, which is greater than or equal to five. So we round it up to 60. From the side, we can do 30 times six, Three, six times zero is zero. Six times three is 18. Now so we can multiply that by 10. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times eight is zero. Zero times one is zero. The so next right there. One times zero is zero. One times eight is eight. And one times one is eight. So we add these together and we get about 1800 or 1800 millimeters long. Nine, describe a real life multiplication situation for which an estimate makes sense. Explain why it makes sense. The example I use is a carpenter is fixing the floor of a house that is 2483 square feet. A tile, a singular tile, is 10 inches by 10 inches square inches. This makes sense because you want to estimate the square foot in order to have plenty of tiles. Lesson check. What is a reasonable estimate for the product of 43 times 68? You're asking for a reasonable estimate. Estimate means to round for the product 
see to multiply. So 43 by 68. So we can round 43 down to 40 because of the three in the ones place. And multiply it by 70 because of the eight, making it be able to round up 70. So you get 70 times four. That four times zero is zero. Four times seven is 28. Times 10, you get zero times zero is zero. Zero times eight is zero. Zero times zero, zero times two is zero. So that's right there. One times zero is zero. One times eight is eight. And two times one is two. When you add that together, you get 2,800 about about 2800 marissa Bur for number two marissa burns 93 calories each time she plays fetch with her dog she plays fetch with her dog once a day about how many calories will marissa burn playing fetch for her with her dog for in 28 days so the question is asking about that means we round how many calories will Marissa burn playing fetch with her dog in 28 days? So we know it's 28 times. So we know it's 28 because she plays fetch with her dog once a day. So if it's 28 days, one time every day, 28 days, that's 28 times. So Marissa burns 90 three calories every time she does that. So she, so we use 28 for the 28 times in 28 days times 93, because she burns 93 every single time she does it. So we can round those numbers up to 30, because of the eight, and then we round down with the 93 because of the three in the ones place. So it goes down to 90. So we do 90 times three, nine, zero times three is zero. Three times nine is 27. So that is a seven, 27. So then 270 times 10, would equal to zero times zero is zero, zero times seven is zero, zero times two is zero, x, one times zero is zero, zero seven times one is seven, and two times one is two. So the total when you add that together is two about, so the about sign is two squiggly lines, about 2,700 calories. Spiral review. Use the model to find three times 126. So if we're gonna use the model, it has divided up this rectangle into three sections, 120 and six. So what we can do is we can multiply 100 times three to get this area of the box or of the rectangle. So three times zero is zero, three times zero is zero, three times one is three. So this section is 300. And I'll get another color. We can get this side of the box. Do a little bit darker. This part of the box would be three times 20. So 20 times three, three times zero is zero, three times two is 60. I'll get another color. Six, this part of the box is six times three, which would equal to 18. Now we can add these all together to get the sum of the whole box. What we can do is 300 plus 60 is zero plus zero is zero, six plus zero is six, and three plus six, or three plus nothing is three. 
So we get 360. Okay, we can get 360 plus the 18 over here. That'd be 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus, seven, 6 plus 1 is 7. And 3 plus 0 is 3. So we get a total of 378. Number four, a store sold a certain brand of jeans for $38. One day, the store sold six pairs of jeans of that brand. How much did the pair, how much did the six pairs of jeans cost? Now, what you do is how much did the six pairs of jeans cost? That is what they're asking us for the six pairs that were sold one day. So each pair of jeans is $38. And it says here that one day, the store sold six pairs of that specific jean. So we can multiply 38 by six. And we can actually put, uh, we can move that. We can multiply it easier. Times six. Six times eight is six times eight is forty eight. Carry the four. Six times three is eighteen plus four, that is twenty two. So the cost of those six pairs of jeans were. $228. Number five. The Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri weighs about 20,000 tons. Write an amount that could be the exact number of tons the arch weighs. So when it says write an amount, so it's asking us to write an amount that could be the exact number of tons the arch weighs. The exact number. So that means the 20,000 tons is an estimate number, especially since it says about. About means an estimate. Or rounded. So we can write any number that could round to 20,000. So an, a possible answer for this would be 18,752 tons. Number six, what is another name for 23,000? So a good way to correctly answer this and a possible answer is you can see it as 23. There are 23 10,000. So you would just multiply that. And we will move this down to the bottom to multiply it. Times 23. Three times these four zeros is four zeros. And then there's a three. Put an X. Two times these four zeros is four, it's our four zeros. Two times one is two. So we, when we add them together, zero, 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 three, two, you get 230,000. Now that is a possible way to answer this question. Now this is lesson 3.2 for the practice and homework.